my 10th graders welcome again to a new lesson in this lesson we will continue our uh, grammar worksheet 3 which was our oh, is talking about passive voice in the previous videos if you remember or the previous video it was about passive voice number one or part one and today we will continue with part two um uh, previously, we introduced the form of the passive voice and we introduced something about how to change the active sentence into passive sentence when the active sentence has present simple, past simple tense, uh, present continuous, and the future well. Our worksheet three, passive voice number two. I think that you saw this page before only to remind you how to change any active sentence into passive. Remember that first of all, number one, you bring the object of the active verb. Then number two, you choose one of verbs to be, is or are, was or were, being, been or be. The number three, you can put by if you know who did the action of if the one who did the action was known to you, like Sami, like Muntaha, like um, Ahmed. But for someone, somebody, people, children, we don't uh, put this because it's someone that you don't know or you don't exactly who was he or she. Changing any active sentence into passive, but for the sentence that has the past continuous, the present perfect simple, and the past perfect simple. Let's start with the past continuous. وهو الماضي المستمر. Now, what do you mean by الماضي المستمر بحالة ال active أو بالجملة المبنية للمعلوم؟ هي عبارة عن subject with was or were with verb ing. Like, as you see in the active voice, the children were cooking pasta at 9 a.m. So here it is active sentence. Why? Because we have where plus verb ing. Now, and we know that who did the action? The children. What did they do? They were cooking pasta. Now, we have another sentence. She was washing the dishes at 6 p.m. Now she, the subject, was washing. It's the verb. The dishes is the object. Now we will change them into passive voice. The first step for the first sentence. The children were cooking pasta at 9 a.m. The first step, you bring the O or the object. What is the object? Pasta. Then you change the verb. Now you look at the verb. We have were cooking. For the past continuous, to change it from active to passive, you put was where, was or where, depending on the object. Then you take one of the verbs to be. We said that verbs to be is are. We took them before. Was where, we took them for the past simple. Is are for the present simple. Was where for the past simple. We took also being for the past continuous, for the present continuous. Now here we have on also past continuous for the continuous we take also being even so what can it ماضي مستمر or مضارع مستمر نأخذ being so pasta was being verb three of the verb cook but see cooked so pasta was being cooked by the children at 9 a.m. now the second sentence she was washing the dishes at 6 p.m. She is the subject, was washing the verb, the dishes is the object. Now you bring the object, the dishes. Was washing, how to change it, كيف نحولها لـ passive, was or where, بالضل, يا was يا where, حسب الـ object, dishes plural, so where. Now you bring the verb to be, اللي هو being, عشان أعمل passive. Then you change the verb into verb 3, but see washed. So, the dishes were being washed at 6 p.m. Now, we don't put by her, and he refers to she, because we don't know who's she. So, this is for past continuous. So, present continuous. Our past continuous, they took being. For the continuous, we bring being, then verb three. Let's move on to the perfect. روح لعالة perfect. Present perfect simple, وهو الفعل المضارع التام البسيط. اللي هو عبارة عن subject with has have with verb three هذا بالمبني للمعلوم examples 
The tailor has made the suit. The tailor is the subject. Has made is the verb. The suit is the object. He has cleaned the windows. He is the subject. Has cleaned is the verb. The windows is the object. Now, let's go, let's go back to the first sentence. The tailor has made the suit. First of all, you bring the object, which is the suit. Then you bring or change the verb. Has <coughs> or have. Then you take has or have. Now you bring the verb to be. For perfect, we take been or been. So been for the perfect. Being for the continuous. Was aware for past simple. Is and are for present simple. Be for will or for the other models also like must, like can't, like could, like should. Now, for the perfect, the suit, we bring the O. The new put has or have, depending on the uh, object. Here we have suit is singular, so we take has. Now, you put one of the verb to be, munasib للفعل, وهو perfect, so been. Verb three from made, made. Here, the thing that uh, will be easy for you that already you have verb three after has and have, so you put the verb as the case that you can find. By the tailor. The second sentence. He has cleaned the windows. You bring the O, the windows. Then you put have or has, so for the windows have. You put verb to be, to change it into passive, which been. Verb three from cleaned, cleaned. So the windows have been cleaned. Now this is for present perfect. What about the past perfect, which takes had? We have had plus verb three, like. They had built this house by 1968. بحلول عام 1968. They had eaten many sandwiches. Now, for the past perfect, the same for the present perfect, we take also been. But instead of putting, ha putting has or have, we put had. So, they had built this house. They is the subject. Had built is the verb. This house is the object. You bring this house. Then you add had. Now had for singular and plural. Because it's past, madi, uh, tam. And you put been, then verb three from belt, belt, by 1968. Then they had eaten many sandwiches. You bring the O, which is sandwiches. Many sandwiches. You put had because it's past perfect. You bring been, then you put verb three from eaten is eaten. So many sandwiches. Had been eaten. Okay, let a sandwich at. So, the um, uh, conclusion, mulakhas, past continuous, you take being for present perfect and past perfect, you take been to make it into passive. So, you bring the O, you put a for the past continuous, was or where, plus being, plus verb three. For past perfect, you put the O, had been, verb three. Present perfect, you put the O, has or have been, plus verb three. Um, past continuous, uh, for uh, present perfect and past perfect. Change the following sentences into passive voice. Number one, they were opening a new shop when I came in. Now, the uh, blue color is the verb and the, uh, the red color is the object. So you bring a new shop. Now we look at the verb to know how to make it into passive. We're opening past continuous. You put was or where with being verb three. New shop singular. So was being open verb three opened when I came in. بتحطي التكملة أو الكمplement. So your answer should be a new shop was being opened when I came in. Number two, they have changed the date of the meeting. Now, the tense واضح إنه الزمن هو present perfect. Perfect يعني been. You put the object who is the date of the meeting. The date of the meeting is singular. موعد الاجتماع. So you put has. 
طبعا it's not necessary if you have have رح تنزل have no it depends on the object now the, the object here is singular so you put has then you put been verb 3 already you have changed as verb 3 so you put changed and your answer should be the date of the meeting has been changed number 3 they had picked the oranges before the storm you bring the o the oranges then had been picked before the storm yes this is your answer طبعاً a had for singular and the plural this is past perfect number four Sam was planting some flowers yesterday morning you bring the o some flowers uh, plural so instead of was رح نحط where had a past continuous then the continuous لما يكون عنا ing being then you add verb three from plant from plant planted by Sam of course so some flowers was being planted yesterday morning by Sam. Number five, he had written three books before 1867. You bring the O, which is the three books. Then you put had, had then been written before 1867. And by uh, this, my dears, here you have your answers for uh, these uh, sentences. We have changed them from um, active into passive. So by the end of this lesson, uh, let me remind you that today we change some active sentences that has um, a past continuous, uh, present perfect simple, and past perfect simple. I hope that you enjoy the lesson. And uh, you enjoyed the lesson, please uh, practice more and more on passive. You can do some more exercises. Of course, you will have to do some worksheet next week, inshallah. And uh, study well for this grammar because it's very important for your exam. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.